Hello everyone. My name is Pranesh Patel, Department of the Child Health Nursing, and I am a senior nursing tutor of Dinsa Patel College of Nursing. Today we are going to see discuss about the behavioral disorder of child in preschool. So there are mainly two problems that uh, we have to identify that. in preschool children that problems of toilet training and problems of speech so in problems of toilet training there is a aneurysis and encopresis and in speech there is stuttering and cluttering so first is a toilet training disorder that is aneurysis so that is the image of aneurysis and aneurysis or a bed wetting is a disorder of involuntary micturition in children who are beyond the age when normal bladder control is acquired so bladder control is normally acquired by the age of 2.5 to 3 years so if it is not acquired beyond 4 to 5 years of age it is abnormal when the bed wetting occurs repeatedly that is called as a aneurysis so normally bladder control is uh, occurred by the 2.5 to 3 years but it is beyond the 4 to 5 years of age so there are mainly two types of aneurysis first is a primary and second is a secondary so primary it refers to the condition in which children have never been seen successfully trained to control the urination and this in secondary children have been successfully trained but revert to the bed wetting in response to some stress so there are mainly two types of aneurysis in secondary uh, types that nocturnal aneurysis and diurnal aneurysis so nocturnal that means bed wetting during the night time and diurnal that means bed wetting during the day time so next uh, that that is causes of or the etiology of uh be aneurysis so inappropriate toilet training emotional disturbance due to the death in family sexual abuse severe punishment or scolding jealousy feeling and any type of anatomical defect of the urinary tract that causes the aneurysis so clinical features that seen in aneurysis disorder that uh, incontinence dysuria that means pain during the urination hematuria that means blood in urine and staining on urination stress in continence with the coughing or the lifting or the running time and the poor bowel control so that is the clinical features that we have seen that treatment that is counseling and reassure the child and parents that we have to counsel the children as well as the parents if the children are unable to understand then we need to uh, counsel the parents try to build up the confidence parents should not to scold and punish the child that should be counseled that uh, we have to if the uh, child is uh, do the bed wetting that we do not uh, scold the child the child should be habitually made to pass urine before going to bed the child is trained to hold urine for a long time so that is the parent side that the child is trained to hold the urine for a longer time that second disorder is a encopresis so encopresis refers to passage of feces into inappropriate places at the age when bowel control should have been established etiology that is chronic constipation aggressive and prolonged medical management like children is using the laxatives anima or taking any type of suppositories or the dietary manipulation for the perceived constipation surgical procedures for imperforated anus and psychological stress that leads to encopresis 
so what are the management of anchoropathies that is initial counseling that we have to already seen in the uh, previous uh, slide that uh, that is a counsel of parents and child then empty the colon of stool promote regular bowel habit and we have to manage the dietary pattern so that is all about the uh, disorder of toilet training next we have to see in the problem of speech that first is a stuttering so stuttering or the stammering is a defect in speech characterized by interruption in the flow of speech hesitations repetitions and prolong of sound especially of initial consonants and it is commonly found in boys with a fear anxiety and timid personality so that is the defect of speech in the flow of speech also the hesitation repetition and prolongations of the sound so there are mainly three types of uh, or the causes uh, that should be a developmental psychogenic and family history in developmental if the child has uh, problems like cleft lip palate or the any type of uh, disorder then it is affected if the psychological that may be a stress or anxiety and in family history the any members have the problem of stuttering so children having that disease then clinical manifestation that is problem in starting the word or a phrase that they cannot uh, speak word clearly so hesitations before the certain words repetition of a sound word or the syllable and the trembling the lips and jaw and interjection like m mm, used for frequently because of that disorder so management that is behavior modification that we need to uh, create a self confidence in the children give the child sufficient time to express their themselves Par parents need counseling breath control exercise and speech therapy never criticize the child for his speech stuttering modification therapy encourage the child to speak clearly by teaching him songs and rhymes and make the child feel that parents are interested is uh, changing the behavior so that all are the management that uh, needs the counseling breath control exercise speech therapy behavior modification that all are the uh, management we can do for the stutter so next uh, that is the cluttering that cluttering is speech and communication disorder characterized by unclear and hurried speech in which words tumble over each other so there are awkward movements of hand feet and body when child is going to speak any word or the any sentence then that is unclear and hurry speech and that time they are using the awkward movements of hands feet and body so these children have erratic and poorly organized personality as well as the behavior pattern so what are the management that uh, we need to manage by the behavior modification as well as we are using the psychotherapy for this child so this is all about the speech disorder that is stammering and cluttering thank you all of you